What if you could go from your LangGraph code to a live, endlessly configurable production-ready agent in less than five minutes? With LangGraph Platform, it's never been easier to create, manage, and scale sophisticated LLM-powered agents all in one place. With LangGraph Platform, we've taken everything developers love about LangGraph and made it effortlessly scalable and production-ready. LangGraph Platform simplifies the entire process, whether you're iterating quickly as a startup or managing secure deployments at enterprise scale. You no longer need to choose between flexibility and ease of use. LangGraph Platform gives you both. LangGraph Platform handles common issues that arise when deploying LLM applications into production, allowing you to focus on agent logic instead of managing server infrastructure. As assistants grow more sophisticated, they often benefit from streaming both token outputs and intermediate states back to the user. Without this, users are left waiting for potentially long operations with no feedback. LangGraph Platform provides multiple streaming modes, optimized for various application needs. For assistants that take longer to process, maintaining an open connection can be impractical. LangGraph Platform supports launching agent runs in the background and provides both polling endpoints and webhooks to monitor run statuses effectively. LangGraph Platform also provides excellent support for long runs. Our API provides robust support for these tasks by sending regular heartbeat signals, preventing unexpected connection closures during prolonged processes. Applications with heavy user interaction may experience bursty request loads where numerous requests hit the server simultaneously. LangGraph Platform scales horizontally and includes a task queue, ensuring requests are handled consistently without loss, even under heavy load. In user-driven applications, it's common for users to send multiple messages rapidly. This double texting can disrupt agent flows if not handled properly. LangGraph Platform offers built-in strategies to address and manage such interactions. For agents needing persistence, for example, conversation memory, deploying a robust storage solution can be complex. LangGraph Platform includes optimized checkpointers and a memory store, managing state across sessions without the need for custom solutions. In many applications, users require a way to intervene in agent processes. LangGraph Platform provides specialized endpoints for human-in-the-loop scenarios, simplifying the integration of manual oversight into agent workflows. By using LangGraph Platform, you gain access to a robust, scalable deployment solution that mitigates these challenges, saving you the effort of implementing and maintaining them manually. This allows you to focus on building effective agent behavior and less on solving deployment infrastructure issues. Next, let's see how easy it is to deploy your first agent in the cloud. Jumping into LangSmith, the first thing we'll want to do is click on our Deployments tab here on the left. From here, all we need to do is click New Deployment. Next, we need to authenticate our GitHub account. Let's go ahead and give access to LangServe. Great, we've authenticated with GitHub. Now, we just need to select a repository we'd like to publish. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use a fork of the popular React agent. Let's give it a better name, maybe just React Agent. Next, you can specify the Git branch you'd like to push from. Specify the location of your langgraph.json file. You can also specify if you'd like to continuously deploy from this branch. Additionally, we can specify a resource tag to segment out by resource or by team. Scrolling down to our deployment type, we have two options. We can either set this as a development deployment, or if we're ready to push this to production, we can switch it over to production. This will allow our deployment to auto-scale and handle bursty request loads. Additionally, we can make our deployment shareable to any other LangSmith user by checking this box. Let's go ahead and leave it unchecked for now. Next, we'll just need to add our environment variables. A quick tip, if you have all of your environment variables copied, you can actually just go ahead and paste it into this name. We'll automatically add all of them for you. From there, we're ready to go. You'll see that LangSmith will automatically provision a new tracing project for us. However, if you aren't using LangSmith yet, you don't have to worry about it. Lastly, let's just click Submit and be ready to deploy. You can see now that our build is in progress. There's a few things that we can do while our build is spinning up. We can go over to the Revisions tab, and we can decide to interrupt it if we want to stop this from building. Additionally, we can click on the logs to see our build logs. You can see we're almost finished. While our React agent is building, I'd love to show you around a different deployment. You can see here from the Overview tab, We'll have access to see our most recent revision. We can open up our logs here. We can scroll down and see our trace count with detailed metrics. Then as we scroll down, we can see all of our most recent traces. Scrolling up, we can jump into our revisions tab. And here we can see all of our revisions over time. We can also create a new revision from here. Next, let's jump into the Assistance tab. Assistants are different configurations of your same agent deployment. We'll get more into this in a separate video, but just wanted to mention that it's here. Lastly, the Threads tab. 
The Threads tab is a great place to see all of your threads in progress, over time, and check which ones are maybe busy, interrupted, or aired out. Lastly, we can click on our little deployment settings cog here, and this will open up our deployment settings. We can choose to change it back to continuous deployment, we can change our Git branch, and we can also specify a custom URL. Let's go ahead and close this for now. Whenever you're in your deployment, you can visualize it by clicking Studio. LangGraph Studio is a great way to visualize and interact with your graph. If you'd like to learn more about LangGraph Studio, we'll link to a separate video below. Now that we have our React agent deployed, let's go through how we can use it within our applications. Using LangGraph Platform in your application is now as easy as it is robust via the LangGraph SDK. You can see here in our docs, we have a robust Python and JavaScript SDK that helps you manage and interact with your LangGraph deployments from anywhere. In addition to our SDKs, you can also access your LangGraph deployments via API. We have comprehensive documentation for both our SDK and API, so we'll be sure to link those below. We also know that flexibility matters, especially when it comes to enterprise compliance and security requirements. That's why LangGraph Platform fully supports self-hosted deployments. Deploy directly onto your own infrastructure, perfect for air-gapped environments or organizations with strict compliance needs. LangGraph Platform is now generally available and ready for you to try. Sign up today and see firsthand how quickly and easily you can deploy powerful and scalable LLM-powered agents. We built LangGraph Platform together with feedback from our amazing community, and we'd love for you to join us on this journey. Check out our docs, jump into the API references, and explore more of our videos to dive in deeper. We can't wait to see what you build.